Rangers Angels. It's Scooter Schoenweiss on the mound for the Angels against Izzy Valdez. And we'll be in the Gold Club in the infield immediately after the game with Diamond Talk. So if you're planning a trip to the Temple tonight, then cap your baseball night off with a swim through Diamond Talk. All right, coming up in the next hour. And I see we have a, a very uh, a very flexible hour ahead of us. <laughs> E-News. An hour with some flexibility. Yes, E-News at 610. But what do we have here? I'm not so concerned about 610 as I am 555. This is a brand new segment <laughs> called Plateau of Anguish. Or in other words, it's not the coffee in my kitchen that I'm concerned with right now. We get CDs up here all the time from local bands. What was that? It's Corby's phone that he left in here. Tell your stupid cousin to quit calling. Wow. Well. God. Anywho. So just stop down. We get tons of CDs up here from local bands. Always wanting us to play it. Just put it on the air for any random reason. Well, we got one that drew our attention. <laughs> There's a letter attached to it as well. It says, what's up, Corby? This is the new Unchecked Aggression CD. Listen to it, and if it's good enough, talk about it, review it, talk S about it. I don't care. We just want to get on the radio and hang out with you and the hardliners. We want to get out of Dallas and go on tour. And the only way we can do that is if we get our name out there. We need major help promoting our CD and getting our name out. Also, we aren't just some band starting out either. We've been together for three years, and there is no doubt in our minds that music is what we'll do for the rest of our lives. And if you listen to our CD, the music, the lyrics, the drums will back that statement up. Signed, the guys, wow. Unchecked Aggression. This must be good. So we thought, aggression. Danny and I thought, you know what, let's go give it a spin. Why not? Just go in the production room and listen to it. So, this album... You guys are very sure of their greatness, aren't they? This album from Unchecked mm -hmm. Aggression sure. is titled The Massacre Begins. <laughs> Not a bad name. <laughs> so let's take a listen to cut number two entitled, well, let's run through a couple of the titles. Smell of Blood, Why Am I Mad, Sniper, Eat the Fire, Plateau of Anguish, <laughs> Kill Me Again, Hellraiser, Prophecies in Vain and Hell Bent. This sounds like devil music to me. Why don't we take a listen to track number two, Smell of Blood from Unchecked Aggression. for this anymore? I don't, I don't this went away about a decade ago. Is there still a market for this? I honestly... Yeah, there is. <laughs> is there? Let me read you the lyrics that you just heard. Birthing views of euphorious high is the downfall of users. Getting wasted out of mind starts to bleed the abuser. Right. Smell of blood, taste the red, taste the bitter bloodlines for lusting whores. <laughs> They're evil. <laughs> oh, man. They're evil people. Yeah, they are. And P1. That is sheer deviltry. It sounds like Pantera, kind of. It's definitely cat music. There's no question about that. Let's skip over a few tracks and go to cut number six, which is the title of this segment, Plateau of Anguish. All right. I I thought that was Ted. Are you serious? Yeah. I did too. No. I thought it was Phil. <laughs> now that 
that's got a great beat. I tell you what, man. You know what? For what they bad. do, they're pretty damn good. For yeah. what they do, it's, I mean, I hate this kind of music. A lot like Bruce Springsteen. No, stop it no, no. right there. Okay, let me make my point. Okay, you don't yell at Greg like that. You know the the, the music. You know the music's okay, but the singer screws it up. The music's okay. I mean, that's not that's not horrible. It's it sounds like Pantera to me. You guys like Pantera. I mean, that's, uh, not, that's not horrible. You know, all those guys do is learn how to play their instruments real fast. And that's it. That's all they've got. And they can sing like Cookie Monster. That drummer can sit back there and get those double basses going, and that's all well and good. But what else has he got? Well, remember, the music, lyrics, drums will back the statement up that they are on their way somewhere. Hmm. Can't even understand the lyrics. But but Danny can imitate... Do that again, Danny. Imitate... That's what... How do you sing like that for a whole concert? <laughs> They're saying, I live, I die, I hope, I pray, repent my sins. Okay, stop that. Okay, play it. I guess you can make those lyrics up once you know what they are, but if you, didn't, yeah. if you didn't know what they were, there's no way you make those lyrics. You make me feel inadequate, like a dirty whore. Seems to be a common theme with their music. Whores? Whores. What about me? I'm surprised Greg doesn't like them more. Wow. And finally, we skip to track number eight, entitled... Hell Razor, R A Z O R. Hell Razor. That's not Danny. There we go. Listen. Is that a good drummer doing that, Ron? Oh, yeah. He said there he goes fast. <laughs> a little bit more to it than Listen that. Listen to that growl. Thing. Crank that up, Psycho. Well, I, I'm glad you, certainly glad you asked me that, Mike. Why, why do you have to be so angry? Well, they're not, Greg. Right? If you understand the lyrics, now, yeah, teaching... all bands of that genre sound exactly like that. If you had every band that's trying to get into that type of music and make it big and had them send a CD up here, it'd all sound the same. Every singer would sound exactly like that. Well, Greg, they do typo, nothing to set themselves typo, apart. Negative. Give them a break, Greg. They're, they're angry. The they're they're angry. They no. grew up in West Plano and went to private schools. They're pissed. Listen to the lyrics. <laughs> Blood, grow, come, C-O-M-E, go, life, lie, stay, die, death nears, in tears, life, lie, stay, die, dead, dead, burning with hate, hate, mind, sight, and soul. Now, who can't relate to that? I mean, those are common I, I themes. I am right there with That's those true. guys. The common themes that run throughout everybody's life. I think I just said it. Celine Dion is saying about those themes, life and death. Ryder, Ryder and I rode up on the elevator today, and I turned to him and said, Die, dead, dead, burning head. <laughs> I called security on him. Who listens to this? They put a boot on his car. I don't know, kids. I don't know, man. I just thought this stuff went away like a decade ago. I we're, too. we're listening to Unchecked Aggression, the new Dallas band, and their new CD called The Massacre Begins. Have you ever seen these guys? <laughs> no. Oh, to the picture God. or anything? Oh, yeah. No, there's a great picture on the insert. There's their picture. Are these young guys or yeah, they're old you know, guys? 20s, or? maybe mid to late 20s. Well, they don't. They don't you got they don't. the guy in there that looks like Matt Pinfield. They they're, don't need to be so who's angry. That? Well, their record sounds good. I mean, Fat they're a good the band. And, I mean, and people that like this music should like this band. I just, I just thought this stuff went away a long Let time ago. Let me see it real quick, Mike. Because we have to... They're just so angry. On their CD cover, they think people like um, the Tattoo Bar... Thrash and Allen, Mad Mike, Dave Chaos, Legion, Lockjaw, Dead Travis. 
And those are the, that's on their top ten list right there. So, hi there. You're on the ticket. What do you think about that? I think that uh, whoever dropped out of the old drop pool, just another ancient spare with a guitar, is a freaking idiot. Hi there. What do you think about that? Hey man, that stuff's coming back. I just uh, bought the new Ice Earth and I dropped some chocolate for my ding dong right now. I'm walking. Huh? <laughs> Hi there. What do you think about that? That, that all sounds like the extended, extended mix to the Rusty Greer extravaganza. <laughs> hey there, what do you think about that? I love it, man. Heavy metal rules. You guys are wrong. But is that a, that's not heavy metal. Uh, it's thrash metal. It's crap. It's how old are thrash. you, dude? White, widespread panic is crap. Okay, you're right. They are. But how old are you? I'm actually 31. And I love heavy metal. Oh, man, have you been too old for that? Yeah. Man. Have you been listening to this stuff for like 10 years now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you have a job? I just thought that guys yeah, that were our that. age quit listening to that CPA. stuff. You got, you did what? You're a CPA. I just love heavy metal. CPA? Uh, Corby, wow. I thought, I thought guys our age quit listening to that. Most did. Hi there. What do you think about that? Oh my God, I think it's us. Oh my God, I think it's us. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, what do you think about that? What an effing headache. <laughs> That's what it is. It's headache music. That's what my mother used to call like U2. Headache music. Hey, think, what do you think about that? Dude, that gave me a big old boner. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, what do you think about that? I think it all sucks. Hey there, what do you think about that? That's today, man. Good stuff. Okay. What do you think about that? Good. I think that really sucks, Levis. No, there's more nay than yeah, yay. Yeah, two guys that, like sure. it. All right, 606, that is Unchecked Aggression, the great new Dallas band, which we're all behind here at the Little Ticket. It is 606 right now. And coming up next, well, looks like a segment with uh, Wayne Rosenthal on the post hole digger. That next. New Ticket CD. My dad, Earl, the jolly over. All right, what do we got here? What are we going to do? It's our new segment, which I forgot what we called it last week. Plateau of flimsiness, fear, or plateau of fear, wasn't it? I can't remember what it was. I don't think we ever came up with a name, did we? It's kind of a takeoff on two minutes to spare them now. Oh, plateau of anguish? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> plateau of anguish. Because we got sick of... Uh, of getting all these CDs up here. Because people send us, each one of us, like, you know, a couple CDs a week from local bands. So we thought we'd just run through a couple of them. You know, and we found a band last week who sent us a CD, and the band was called Unchecked Aggression. And their their uh, CD was called uh, Let the Massacre Begin or something like that. I mean, it was really hardcore death metal. But they said that they were excellent at what they did, and that you'll be able to tell by the music and or the lyrics that they're going somewhere. Hellraiser, Razor, A-Z-O-R for Razor. Yeah, Danny's got the CD in there. You guys remember this? If you heard it, how could you possibly forget it? Wow. And we also said that if your kid is listening to Unchecked Aggression, please drug test him. Meth test him first. And then move on, move down from there. <laughs> Might need to move up from there. Yeah, move down to glue. <laughs> glue and huffing. Those are all those huffing kids are listening to. So, I believe... Right Ryder, today on Plateau of Ang Anguish, Angst. Did you receive this CD? Yes, this was Ryder's. Reiner got this from a band from Fort Worth called Soviet Space. And I've heard of them before. And by the way, you're wasting your time by sending CDs to me because I don't listen to them. I give them all to Cobra and Danny. Right. Whether they want them or not. And these guys kind of effed up a little bit because you're supposed to write a personal letter. We don't want this form letter that yeah, you we don't send want out your, the record Yeah, we don't want your press release. We don't want no. your publicity kit. No. We don't want your hype. Because we can we can play your record once and maybe play a snippet of your song, 
But we can't help you that way because we don't play songs. No, at least we don't. want you to tell us what you do and show us that you know who we are. That's what we want. Like unchecked aggression. Yeah, we're saying, what about me? Who we now dub. What about me? And if we play a little bit of your yeah. song and it's got, got catchy and we like it, well, then, you know, odds are some of the P1s will like it. Some of the P1s are about it. And, you know, you'll go on to... Maybe play the curtain club. That's right. You will transcend that plateau of anguish. Yeah, odds are that if we like it, then it will get a favorable thumbs up during the concert yeah. calendar. But Not that that makes any difference. We but can't, when you send us this well, porn stuff, a huge difference. we can't do anything for you. It's not like we're going to play it. Put it in rotation. Hailing from Fort Worth, Texas, comes Soviet space, combining what? the heartfelt expression and do-it-yourself attitude of post-punk rock with the raw emotion of classic rock. Hmm. Their sound is quite distinctive and something refreshingly, refreshingly new in this predictable age of pop music. See, that's, I hate this already. See, that's overwritten. It is. It's, it's, it's lost me. Yeah. Influenced by the intense rock sounds of the Get Up Kids, Jimmy Eat World, the Promise Ring, Foo Fighters, Zeppelin, and Chomsky, Soviet Space wants to bring good sounds to good people, stay true to the music, like Shiner, and simply just rock out. Throw up your metal signs, take off your shoes, and look out for Soviet space. F. Chomsky. And maybe F. Soviet space. Maybe F. Soviet space. That's, That's overwritten. Did Big Dick write that? He might have.